Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, we're going to learn how to customize the start menu in Windows 11. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and if you want to supercharge the way you your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. That being said, let's get into this. The start menu is one of the most iconic features in Microsoft Windows and it's had a redesign in Windows 11 to be a lot more minimal. One of the biggest changes Microsoft has made is actually moving the start bar from being in the traditional left-hand side of the screen, but they've put it now in the center. Later in this video, we are gonna learn how to move it from the center back to the left-hand side if you prefer it to be there. But for now, we're gonna work with it being in the center of the screen. When we press on the start menu, you're greeted with a few different things. The top section is your pinned applications and the bottom section is your recommended. By default, when you get a computer out of the box, your pin section up here where I have Edge and Word and OneNote is filled with a whole bunch of different programs that you necessarily may not use. So the first thing I recommend is actually getting rid of all the applications that are preloaded on your computer and putting in the ones that you think are most relevant to you. To unpin an application from this menu, you simply wanna right click on it and then go down to the option of unpin. When you unpin it, it doesn't uninstall it or change it in any way. It just removes it from the start menu here. So settings, I'm now gonna go unpin and it's gonna disappear from here. I'd recommend removing everything and then putting in the programs that you want. To put the programs back that you want, in the right hand, in the top right hand corner of your pin section, you have the button that says all apps. So if we open up all apps, you get a carousel of all the apps you have installed on your computer. And then we're gonna find the ones that you're after for now, we're gonna do an example with the calculator, calendar, and the uh, camera. We're gonna right click on calculator and go pin to start, calendar, pin to start, and camera, pin to start. So you wanna go through, right click on all the programs that you're after, and then just say pin to start. Then we're gonna hit the back button, and we're gonna see that they're now appeared here in our pin section. We have the last three apps, our calculator, our calendar, and our camera. If you wanna move and rearrange the applications, it's really quite easy, quite simple. You just wanna drag and drop it to where you want it to be. So I might move the calendar up here next to Microsoft Edge. Sorry, calculator. I might move the calendar next to that and I'll leave the camera where it is. You cannot, I just wanna let you know that you cannot have app folders like you would on your smartphone. You simply only have individual pinned apps on here. Um, as you can see from the way I had mine set out, I only have it about eight or 10 apps, because they're the ones that I use most frequently. It makes it really easy for me to get to. Once you're done customizing your pin section, um, you wanna go down to where it says recommended. The recommended section actually uses a bit of Microsoft AI and it pulls from the local files you've used on your computer, as well as what you've accessed from Microsoft OneDrive. And if you have your work account, your work OneDrive, SharePoint and Teams files. And this is basically saying, hey, you were working on this program and um, this file, so you might wanna get back into it and it just makes it really easy as a suggestion to get back into some of the folders and the programs you're working in. If by chance you are doing something like a presentation like I'm doing right now, and you don't want a recommended option to pop up, say this was a, a sensitive document, I could actually right click on that and then I could just go remove from list. Again, it's not going to change or delete that document, it's just gonna remove it from the view here. Or if you wanna see more recommended uh, files, simply select on the more on the right hand side. And then it's gonna take you to a list of all different recommended documents you've been working on. So it's really easy, really simple. And it's really easy, it's really simple, and it's really cool. The next thing I wanna do is actually jump into our settings here to see. The next thing I wanna do is jump into our settings to see how we can customize the start menu even more. At the top of your start menu, you have your little type here to search, and this is gonna allow you to search your and this is gonna allow you to in at the top of your start menu, you have the little option here that says type here to search, and this is fantastic. It searches your documents as well as the internet for searching whatever you're putting in. So I'm gonna type in the word setting, and it's gonna find the settings, which is the best match on our computer. So I'm gonna open up settings here, and then on the left-hand side of our settings, we're gonna scroll down to where it says personalization. It's the fourth option on the left-hand side. We're simply gonna go on personalization, and then if we scroll down, we actually have a button here called Start, and we're gonna open up that Start menu. Here, you can personalize the Start menu even more. You can turn on the option of Show Recently Added Apps. So if you've downloaded a few different programs, 
Um, it, they will actually pop up in the start menu as a little icon saying, hey, you've just installed this program, so you may wanna access it. You can show your mostly used applications. I don't have this on because I pin my favorite apps to my start menu, but if you had a whole bunch of different programs and you just wanted even more suggestions, the show mostly used apps is, uh, is a great thing to turn on. And then of course, you can show or turn off this recommended section, which is known as the recently opened. So if I turn off this button here of the show recently opened items, we actually don't get those recommended anymore. So I like having that on, so I think it's really quite cool. The next thing you can do is actually customize which folders appear within your start menu down the bottom. And this is really handy to jump to some of the most commonly used Windows folders, like your photos and your documents and your videos. If we open this up, you'll see that I have all of mine turned off for this demonstration, but there are a few that I actually have turned on most of the time. If I turn on my settings and my downloads and my pictures, and now I press the start menu, you'll see next to the power button, I have a quick access to my settings, my photos, and my downloads. So if I select on the settings options, well, settings is already opened, but this would take me straight to my settings section. And it's really easy to quickly jump to those folders in Windows 11. Of course, if you don't like them, you can turn these off or you can customize it to the way you want it to be. The last thing I wanna show you is how you can actually realign the start menu from the center of the page and move it back to the left-hand side like it was in Windows 7 and 8 and Windows 10. To do this, you wanna right-click on the taskbar down the bottom and open up your taskbar settings. This is gonna take you to a different section of the personalization page. And down the bottom here, the last option is your taskbar behaviors, which we're gonna open up right now. You can see it says taskbar alignment, and then you have a drop-down menu that says center. But if we drop it down, we can actually choose to align to the left. If we select left, our taskbar, including the start menu, moves back over to the left-hand side and no longer in the center. This, if you're really used to Windows 10, is quite handy because it makes it feel just like it did in Windows 10. But I personally like and gotten used to the fact that the start bar is in the middle of Windows 11 and it looks really nice. Cool, so there you have it. Those are some of my tips to customizing the start menu in Windows 11. Hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, let me know by giving a thumbs up. And of course, if you want to supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.